Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is just kind of a chit chat, get ready with me, trying out some new stuff, some old stuff. Um, it's really just kind of random, but I hope you enjoy it. I'm about to have a very naked face, so brace yourself. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right in. I got a giant box in the middle of the day from BoxyCharm, the things that I ordered from their little pop-up store. And one of the things is this pink diamond lip and eye filler by Rodile. Ooh, which way? Um, it says it'll plump the fine lines. I think I'm a little too scared to use it under my eyes until I see what it does to my lips. But if you watched my last Boxy Charm unboxing, I got the eye masks and loved them. So maybe this will be nice. So basically, I just figured we could have a little chat while I put on some makeup. I've got some new stuff to play with, some old faithful stuff. So we're just going to hang out figure I can yammer at you while I put on some makeup. Okay, so far the lip plumper is pretty heavily scented and I can taste it in my throat. Not a fan of that. Okay, so for my face, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I love this. I just keep using it. It's so easy. It's lightweight. I think it's glorious. So just gonna get that all over. So my recording and uploading schedule is kind of a mess. I thought that I would be able to stick to basically the same schedule um, with having Jackson and Summer being here. Turns out I thought wrong because I'm not very responsible <laughs> as it were. So Memorial Day weekend, the weather was awful. We had made plans and had to cancel because of the weather. So I took that time to record some videos and do all the sponsibilities that I have around the house and whatever. And then last weekend was absolutely beautiful. And I blew off all of my responsibilities. <laughs> Turns out I'm like Sporty Spice. We are the athletes now. <laughs> My kids have been kayaking and camping and they asked us to join them for their kayaking adventures. So we bought a kayak. Dick Sporting Good is the one who called me an athlete. It wasn't me. So if you've got any qualms, take it up with them. <laughs> Cause I am the least athletic person on the planet. So anyway, <clears throat> we spent most of last weekend on the water, playing, kayaking, hanging out, some pretty good family time. So I'm not, I'm not sorry we did that. However, my videos are gonna suffer a little bit, but I feel like while the weather's nice, we should take advantage of it, even if that means blowing off some of our responsibilities. I'm comfortable with that. So today I'm recording this and I'm getting ready to go have lunch with my sisters outside. It's going to be nice today. A little hot, probably freakishly humid because that's what happens, but I'm excited. Okay, so this next product is new. It's from Fenty Beauty. It is the Bright Fix Eye Brightener Illuminator. I got it in the shade medium because I have no idea. So I'm just gonna go in with that under my, uh, oh, okay, well, I squirted out kind of a lot. From what I understand, this isn't like a heavy coverage product, just brightening for the most part. So, and of course there's a cat hair on it. It has really good reviews, so we'll see. 
I'm gonna use my concealer brush just to get that going in there. Probably should have put a mirror where I can see. Right now I'm just using the camera and that's <laughs> not great. <clears throat> Hold please while I get a mirror. Okay. So yeah, going to have lunch with my sisters. <clears throat> Jackson and I will walk down and meet them. It should be good. It's been kind of yucky here. Yesterday was extremely hot, extremely humid, and threatening rain and storms all day. So we didn't go far at all, which is kind of a bummer. Jackson likes to be out in the world and I'm a better person when we're out in the world doing stuff outside. So it'll be nice today. I think I like that. I mean, it's just my first time using it, so I'll have to try it some more to find out for sure how I really feel, but off the bat, it's nice. I obviously have all of my skincare and my sunscreen on already. I'm just gonna go in and set this down with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I wore this tinted hydrator the other day and I didn't set it and it really wore very very well considering I get so oily but if I'm gonna be outside I have to wear sunscreen and because I'm oily the sunscreen will end up in my eyes and that isn't fun for anyone so I found that using setting powder helps keep the sunscreen where I want it and not running into my eyeballs. So that's exciting stuff. All right. Mandra, I still look pretty darn good. Sweet pickles, that doesn't suck. Okay, so the next product I have is the Ofra Pro Palette. I grabbed this out of the boxy pop-up store. What is my earring doing? Hmm, trying to sabotage me. Anyway, uh, this looks pretty great. I'll show you once I get the plastic protective cover off. It's got a very heavy, large mirror. And this is what the inside looks like. The products are, the highlighter is Rodeo Drive and then a versatile matte bronzer, <clears throat> French Mocha, Bark, Blissful, Banana Powder, Charm, Raisin, Essential Sublime, Brown, Bohemian, Divine, and Country Road. So um, there's a bronzer, could be brow products, bron uh, contour, eyeshadow, and another smaller highlighter. So, and a couple of shades up there, could be blush. I think this is pretty neat. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with this tiny number. It's not tiny, it's the Wayne Goss number two with some of this bronze shade. Yeah, so as I was saying before I interrupted myself and lost my train of thought, um, my recording and upload schedule is going to be a bit wonky for a while, I think. I really, really like doing this, but I really like doing stuff with my family too. And that's what I'm going to choose to do when the occasion arises. So hopefully that works <clears throat> and nobody gets too mad or unsubscribes. But hopefully you're doing the same thing if you have the opportunity to go and do fun stuff. You should take it. <clears throat> Life is too short. That's cute. 
I'm gonna go with that kind of blushy shade up here in the corner, this one right here. It's pretty natural. I can't go too crazy with my makeup today since I am wearing an orange shirt. <laughs> I know I've worn this one in a recent video, but I haven't worn it out in the world. So I thought I'll take her for a maiden voyage today. blush up over my forehead. <clears throat> I've been really into cream blushes lately with um, a bit of a sheen, but this is really pretty too. Perfect. Now we go in with this Wayne Goss number three giant highlighting brush. And the shade Rodeo Drive, which I have never used. When I saw this palette on the BoxyCharm little pop-up store, I had to grab it. I've just started using Ofer products and I am a huge, huge fan. That's really pretty. I like it. Now I'm going to go in with a tiny brush and do my Cupid's bow. Little milk mustache going on there. I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. And what the heck, put a little here. Well, there. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my NARS Soft Matte Concealer on my lids, just to have a little something down for the eyeshadow to stick to. And hopefully keep the oils from wrecking my eyeshadow as the day wears on. was easy. I will say um, I can't notice a difference in my lips with that Rodial lip plumper, eye plumper. I will try it under my eyes at some point here, but it's not worth the taste in my mouth. That's kind of disgusting. So definitely a no from me for a lip plumper. It's not doing enough to make it worth that flavor in the back of my throat. Okay, moving on to eyes. I'm going to just grab out my refer number 16 and I'm going to use that same bronzer shade and get that going in my crease. I'm going to hopefully deliver some stuff to some of my friends today. Things I picked up for them I need to deliver. So we'll see. That bronzer looks great in the crease. Cool. Maybe I'll go in with one of these darker, cooler shades. Just on the outer corner and up into the crease a little bit. Oh. I don't want to go too crazy with my makeup today. It's going to be hot. I'm going to be outside. But I haven't worn any in a few days, so mostly I just want to put makeup on my face. And on my refer number two flat shadow brush, I'm just going to grab this. Hmm, let's put the other highlight shade. Really just brighten things up. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. I like that. Like I said, I'm just looking for something quick, but fun. I'm calling that good. 
Well, yeah, I think this palette is excellent. The few shades that I used, everything blended perfectly. I like it. Another thing that I picked up from the Boxy store is this thing called Babe Lash Volumizing Brow Filler. I love brow products. So, let me just sit on the floor. Okay, I'm back with the <laughs> Volumizing Brow Filler by Babe Lash. It has a very tiny little brush on it, so. That's something I like a lot in a brow gel type thing. It's not giving me a lot. It's a little better. Well, maybe we'll give it a minute and see if it's got some hold. Maybe it'll work for that. With the e.l.f. Wow Brow, I can put that in. It does actually add some thickness to my brows. So I do like that one for just like a quick throw it on and get out the door. Okay, I'm gonna try new mascara today. I have the Urban Decay Lash Freak. I got the tiny size to try out because if a mascara goes badly, it goes badly. But people rave about this one, so I thought maybe I can use it. Super fun packaging. I know the brush on this is, it made some news. It's like a comb on one side and then it has like a little brush tip on the end. So let's try it. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I do like the end quite a lot. If I can... I don't know if you can see that, but that's really cool for getting the bottom lashes. This might be one of those formulas that are better once it's been open and used a bit. If it stays on my lashes and not all over my face, it'll be okay. <laughs> now I need a lip. Should I go with a red lip or an orange lip? Oh. That's not right. Oh, there's mascara all over my eyes. I'm gonna have to clean that up. There we go. I'm gonna throw some blue eyeliner in my waterline. And I'm going to line my lips, throw on some lipstick, fix this hair to the best of my ability, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. That mascara cleaned up very, very easily from my eyelids. So that's pretty cool. It's dried down and doesn't seem to be moving now. Well, with an orange lip, I think I am ready to roll. Jackson and I will be out on the town, <laughs> walking to lunch. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your time. Be good and remember to be kind to you.